Welcome to Last Day's Signs and Wonders with Mel Bond. If we could scream and get devils out, these ball games wouldn't have a devil within a million miles. All the screaming and roaring going on. You don't have to scream to get a devil out. It's not how loud you scream, it's how accurate you speak the Word of God. And I just whispered, in Jesus' name, I command you to leave. I've never seen anything in existence shake so bad as that devil, as the devil himself, Satan. He just shook all over. And then he tried to fake smile. And he says, you can't do that. He says, you're not fasting, you're not praying, you're not doing any of those things. And I said, I want to tell you something. I'm a child of God because of what Jesus did, not because of anything I could possibly do. And I have rights over you because I'm a child of God. Now leave in Jesus' name. And boy, he just disintegrated, just totally disappeared. And you have those same rights if Jesus is your Lord. Amen. So that's how powerful, that's how powerful the devil is. But, you know, I want to show you from a scriptural standpoint, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, that the Bible says, Jesus said this, he says, all power has given been given to me in heaven and in earth. That's pretty powerful. All power has been given to Jesus. But I want to show you something. Jesus turned around and gave it to you. Turn your Bibles to the book of Ephesians in chapter 1. I can quote this, but I, I, we, we just need to look at this. And so all power was given to Jesus. And so now God is talking here in Ephesians in chapter 1. And so I'm going to get right to the point in verse 22. And so God did this, and he hath put all things under his feet. All things has been put under Jesus' feet. And gave him to be head over all things to the church. So God did this, give Jesus to have power over all things, and then Jesus turned around and gave it to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that fulfilleth all in all. There has been a teaching that is just absolutely, totally wrong for so many years among Christians, and that teaching is God's got everything under control. He does not. You do. You do. God did everything He's going to do. All power in heaven and in earth was given to Jesus and now he gave it to you. He's given it to you. Now you do something. It's you. You do it. You take authority in Jesus' name. And so Philippians in four, chapter two, verse nine. God has given us a name that's above every name. Any name that you don't like, you have a name that's above that name. It's the name of Jesus. Cancer is a name, but Jesus' name is above the name of cancer. Sickness, disease, of any, they all have names, but we have a name that's above that name. It's the name of Jesus. And so you just exercise that name. Now, here's what I want to share with you. I believe that it's one of my books, and I'm about 95% sure uh, it's the book, If It's Not God, If It's Not Good, It's Not God. And so if it's not in that book, just go ahead and buy that book anyway because it'll be good for you. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure, I'm about 95% sure, in that book, I have one chapter of the different ways you use the name of Jesus. In essence, uh, it's not always just saying in Jesus' name, literally, speaking with your mouth, in Jesus' name. Because it, it, it's sort of like this. There's several ways you use the name of Jesus. That, um, number one, that you'll see that Revelation in chapter 19, verse 13, the Bible says, and his name is called the Word of God, talking about Jesus. And so the Word of God is the name of Jesus. John chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word. And then it says, and the Word was with God. And then it dropped down to verse 14, and it says, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. So his name, Jesus' name, is the Word of God. And so when you use, sometimes you have to use the Word of God in different ways to rebuke the devil. For instance, if somebody is 
they have a demon spirit of anger and they come up against you and get in your face and start yelling and screaming and then you try to out yell them and point your finger at them and say in the name of Jesus I rebuke you and so you're trying to use anger with anger you may get a fist in your face but Proverbs in chapter 15 I think it's verse 2 verse 1 or verse 2 I'm pretty sure it's verse 2 it says a soft answer turneth away or rebukes wrath and so somebody gets in your face and so what are you doing you're getting rid of a demon spirit of anger by just talking softly and you might just i don't know god will give you something real soft to say and just say well you know i'm i'm really sorry and i want you to know that i love you regardless of what you think of what you've done it doesn't make any difference i still love you you know, God will give you something real sweet and something kind to say, and it'll get rid of that demon spirit. And so there are several ways that you use the name of Jesus. It's, not, it's using the Word of God. That's the reason why we need to study the Word of God, so that we can apply the name of Jesus differently. His name is called the Word of God. Amen. Now, I'll tell you something that will help you to get more confidence in the word of God, which is the name of Jesus. All of God. See, uh, another thing, real quickly, the Holy Ghost just dropped this in, that uh, many times we have tormenting thoughts in our mind. And in fact, today as never before, people, even Christians, are taking antidepressant pills. And the reason is, as never before, the Bible, see, in the book of Revelation in chapter 12, the Bible says when Satan sees that he has but a little time, he comes down and makes wrath with God's people. That's where we're at right now. As never before, Satan is working harder than he ever has. And the first thing that he works with is our minds. More people are depressed in this world than they ever have been. That, you know, I've doing uh, being a pastor i've worked with people that uh, morticians and i can remember probably it was maybe about 10 years ago and i was doing this uh funeral and i would have raised the guy from the dead but he didn't want to come back so it wasn't no sense but anyway i talked to that mortician and this particular guy had committed suicide and this mortician told me he said now this guy that he was about 75 years of age and he had been a mortician since he was in his 20s. And he, this is what he told me. He said, in the last five years, I've done more funerals of people that have committed suicide than all the previous years of my work. And he was one of the major uh, morticians within about a 100-mile radius from where he worked. And, and so you see what I'm saying? More depression. And where does depression come from? thoughts sometimes people get depressed because of a lying thought just a lying thought and uh, lying thoughts can kill you you know my father-in-law he's 99 years of age now he'll be 100 in a few more months and i've talked to him and he remembered way back in oh the early 1900s i can't remember when it was when orson wells had this radio announcement and it was like a nationwide uh, 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 you know, he had a program. Dorsey, you remember when that was? 1943? Okay, I remember my father-in-law talking about it. And in those years, my father-in-law and mother-in-law, that they were, they were dating, and they went to a church to where, that you know, that uh, uh, they knew you shouldn't be drinking and you shouldn't be going to the nightclubs and dancing. And I don't know if they were drinking or not, but... He said they were out there dancing. They were just getting down, you know, in the nightclub. And all of a sudden, the radio stopped, and Orson Welles got on there, and he says, I'm alerting the whole human race. I forget exactly what he said, but he says the Martians have come, and they've already come, and they've crossed over this particular river. They're overtaking our world. It was just a joke. It was a lie. But he was just using it as a joke. And there was businessmen all over the United States, they were in these 14-story buildings high, and they were jumping out of the windows to their death. 
killing themselves because of a lie. And the devil is killing people today because they're accepting lies. Let me tell you this. If it's not good, don't let it stay in your mind because it's a seed of destruction. The devil has seeds that will destroy your life. And so if it's not good, and if you're not positive it's good, get rid of it. I talked to somebody about that this morning. I can remember when I was in the military, and you guys and gals, if you were in the military, you remember this, that we would use hand grenades. And they'd give us a dummy hand grenade until they seen we were good launching that hand grenade. It looked exactly like the real thing. Same weight, looked exactly like the real thing. You remember that? And they didn't let us have the real thing until we were good throwing the, the dummy. And so now, if somebody comes up to me and they hand me a, a hand grenade, and I'm not sure if it's a dummy or the real thing. Well, I'm a dummy if I hold on to it. You see what I'm saying? And so, when in doubt, throw it out. Otherwise, it's... If you need a miracle, I want to encourage you to come to our miracle service. And this is going to take place February the 16th at the Majestic Ballroom at West Palm Beach, Florida. And um, all the information is on the screen. Call our office if uh, you're interested in going, if you have any questions. And I want to encourage you uh, to bring the people that have blinded eyes, deaf ears, people that have incurable conditions, those missing bodily parts, bring the dead. I promise you that miracles will take place. People are going to be blessed. God's going to be glorified. And we're going to make a fool out of the devil. That's going to be February the 16th at the Majestic Ballroom in West Palm Beach, Florida. All the information is on the screen. And uh, if you would like to be on our prayer team to pray with me that you will personally pray for people at this particular meeting, then uh, you can be on our prayer team. There are some uh, prerequisites that you have to have in order to be on our prayer team. You need to be born again. Jesus needs to be the Lord of your life. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And you need to call our office to get more information. And all of that information is on the screen. And so great things will take place. God's wanting to use people as never before. He said in the last days he'd pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And he said, these signs will follow them to believe. The word signs is supernatural miracles in the senses realm, proving that Jesus Christ is Lord and God's wanting to use people doing that. And so you'll pray with people personally alongside of me. And so um, if you're interested, uh, contact our office. Thank you. Um, but I see a spirit in your body and he travels. Let me look again. Let me see what else, if he's doing anything else or if there's any other spirit. But he, he's definitely in your spinal column and like uh, almost the middle of your back and then goes down to the lower back and then he travels into that left leg. Then I see another spirit and he's not very large. It's like he's, uh, he's trying to, to grow, but he's in the, the beginning stages and uh, he's on the, let me see, where's that? He's on the, the, the lower portion of your heart uh, on the bottom, the, the left-hand side on the bottom, and he predominantly has a hold of a, an artery, and that artery is, it looks like it's totally clogged up. And then he has like his hands, like he has a hand over that one artery, and then the other artery is on the heart. Uh, and, um, but he's not a very big spirit. You know, he's only, he's not as large as a cockroach. He's smaller than that. So I would say he's probably in the beginning stages. Uh, have you been to the doctor for any of those issues? No. Okay, do you have any problems in your lower back at all? Well, on my left side, I have a hernia on my left side. Have a hernia. That causes knees, pain? You know, I have some knee issues. But okay. That's about it, that I know of. Oh, on the left hand side. And so what, in your heart region, have you, uh, have you had chest pains I or any? I haven't had any, uh, anything like that, but I, I am 
wanting to change my eating habits. So okay, okay. So you haven't noticed any any kind of uh, maybe even like uh, high blood pressure or anything high like. High blood pressure, yeah. Okay, well that would do it. In Jesus' name, we take authority over that demonic spirit in that lower back region that goes down into that left leg. We break that demonic force. Leave him now in Jesus' name. Now, in Jesus' name, that demonic spirit on the left side of his heart, holding that artery shut, I command that demon spirit to leave now in Jesus' name. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to come out here in, the, in the, this uh, hallway here, this aisle, and I want you to run to that back door as fast as you can, then run up here to, as fast as you can. Just as fast as you can, like you did when you were 16 years old. That's only a couple weeks ago. Okay. Now I want to ask you, you you're saying you had uh, some kind of a problem with that left leg. How's it feel now? How's it good. feel? Feels good. How much better? A lot. Uh, feels 100% right now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Bless you, brother. Amen. Do you, do you feel anything in your heart region? Feels good. It feels clear. I mean, actually, when you started talking to me, uh -huh. I started feeling sensation already. Okay. So I knew You're God getting was, it. I knew God was up to something. Yeah. He initiated it. He received it. Amen. Um, here's what I see. I see a, a spirit in the... Um, kind of in the, the top of your stomach area. That's where the head of him is, the, the largest part. And then he has these long, like, uh, like legs. Kind of looks like a, an octopus upside down. That's what he sort of looks like. And um, so he's got those uh, legs that go up from the, the stomach and goes up uh, like a, a, near your esophagus and then goes, he has some legs that goes over towards your heart region. He's the root of a problem in your life uh, physically. Have you been to the doctor for any problems? What does the doctor say? Um, uh, I, do, I do have uh, high blood pressure and uh, severe, severe sleep apnea. Okay, okay. Do you have any uh, discomfort in your body right now? Um, the, a little bit. Okay. Okay. This is going to be fun. Everybody stretch forth your hand toward this gentleman. And, and don't anybody touch him. We're just going to just let, we're going to send forth the power of God. In Jesus' name, we take authority over that demonic spirit. You leave him now. In Jesus' name, you can't stay. We have authority over you. Leave him. In Jesus' name. Leave now. In Jesus' name. Now here's, I want you to come out here in the, in the, the aisle and focus on the better. Focus on how much better you are and do what was difficult for you to do before or something maybe you couldn't do. How much better you feel? 100%. Amen. Amen. God's a good God. Amen. Uh, this lady right here, can I pray for you? Absolutely. Okay. I'm here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it, I, I see a spirit down in your lower portions of, of your body. And uh, um, what it looks like is, uh, especially more on the right hand side, it looks like in the. I, I don't know what this is, but I, I would call it like, uh, it looks like a, a female problem, like, a, like an ovary or something, um, mainly on the right-hand side. And let me look. It just looks like a, uh, and I don't know if that's a, an ovary, but it looks in that area, and it looks like it's just swollen, and um, there's a spirit causing a problem in that area. Have you been to the doctor for any issues? Okay. Okay. 
Have, you, you don't know of any problems? In uh, that? I have fibroids. Okay, okay. Well, let's pray. Already I see that organ that I'm talking about. It's, um, it's like it's oversized, but it's, um, now it's just, it's, it's like it's, it's growing wider and wider, like God's glory is all over it. It's not, as, it's not fully with God's glory, but it's already beginning to do that. And so let me just take authority over that demonic spirit. In fact, he's already left. I guess he knew I was going to get him. So in Jesus' name, I command him to stay gone. Now, I know we can say that, but they have rights to come back. And so what you've got to do anytime you get a symptom, you just uh, command it to leave. So I command that spirit to leave now in Jesus' name. You can't function in her body. And I command that lower portion of the body to relax, surrender to God's power in Jesus' name. I command that heart region to just to totally surrender, relax to God's miracle power in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, you, I, you didn't tell me that you were having any kind of symptoms, so I don't know what to ask you to do. Okay. And I wake up three or four times a night, um, so the blood will flow back. I mean, I'm having numbness right now, as we speak. And really? Then, yep. And then I can't eat a lot of foods because I, I get really tired. Mm -hmm. So I can't drive. So like today, I didn't want to eat anything because I drove four hours to get here. Okay. So I just ate a few things that I know I was going to fall asleep. Okay. But it's good. Okay. Do this again. You said you had numbness in your, in your hands. Focus your attention. And we're going to just start right in your heart region. Relax. Now you initiate that sensation of relaxation flowing through your body. All through your body. In Jesus' name. Now... I'm going to ask you, and it's so important just to have actions. Come in and stand up. And you do the same thing. Just run to that door and run back. <coughs> now lift your hands in the air. How much better? It's, it's good. How much, yes. how much better? I would say 100. Amen. 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 God's a good God. Amen. I thank you for the great privilege that you've given me to uh, come into your presence and place deposits of uh, the eternal Word of God, which is the power of God, so that uh, you'd be blessed, God would be glorified. I thank you so much that uh, I have a great desire, which I believe is a mandate from God, to see the whole world filled with the unconditional love of God, the miracle working power of God, to bring masses into the kingdom of God. September the 28th, 1984, Jesus appeared to me and he explained to me how to release his anointing for instant healings and instant miracles. Since that time that I've won to the Lord almost a million people. And, uh, and I want that same anointing to be in your life. Jesus also revealed to me how to see in the spirit world so that I could see the root of problems, which is demon spirits, and then cast those demon spirits out and fix what the demon spirits have caused, the problem they've caused, and so that there would be healings and instant miracles. A couple of years ago that um, my cameraman, who is also our TV producer, Ted Moore, he and I, we went down to Mexico and uh, we did a miracle crusade, and he was videoing the miracles there was a blind man that was brought forth. And as I always see in the spirit world, when I cast demons out, I see them leave. Um, and then I release the anointing of God and there's instant healings and miracles. Well, when we got back home from Mexico, uh, Ted called me up and said, uh, Pastor Mel, you need to take a look at this video. And I was really surprised because he's been traveling with me for a few years 
And, um, and I've never seen this before, but it was actually recorded on video. To me, it was a divine ordination of God that God allowed this demon spirit to be recorded on video. And so you'll be able to see this, and I think that we're gonna go ahead and show you this as I'm talking, that uh, when I cast that demon spirit out, you can see it on video that he left. And then uh, Ted also put it in slow motion so that we can undeniably see that a spirit of blindness left this man when I commanded it to leave in Jesus' name. Well, recently, I conducted a seminar right here at Agape Church in Winsville, Missouri. I taught all of these things, how to see in the spirit world, cast out demons, see those demons, cast them out, and then release the anointing of God so that there would be instant miracles. And so I want you to have that same ability, and God does too, because Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 12 through 14, the works that He did shall you do also and greater. So that's the desire of God also. Well, we have a special offer for you, and it's offer number 18 for $65 plus shipping and handling. In this particular offer, this is what you'll receive. You'll receive all of the teaching in that seminar, three days of teaching. It's on four DVDs. You'll see in this particular teaching, you'll see me uh, after I've taught, you'll see me demonstrate the miracle working power of God, cast out demons, instant healings, instant miracles. What's greater than that? You'll see the people. They also, after the teaching and after I demonstrated, then I give them that opportunity and people all over the auditorium, they begin to see in the de they begin to see demon spirits just as you see in the video in Mexico. They seen the same thing. They cast these demons out and then they fixed the problem that the demons caused. And so there's four DVDs that will uh, show you this and teach you this. And then also you get my book, Releasing God's Anointing. And um, this is a book based on the vision of Jesus where he taught me how to release his anointing. And then the revelation that Jesus gave me how to see in the spirit world. You get all of this with offer number 18 for $65 plus shipping and handling the great desire of mine is to see you walking in the fullness of God, doing the works of Jesus and greater so that God would be glorified, people would be blessed and bring masses into the kingdom of God. Thank you for watching Last Day Signs and Wonders with Mel Bond. For more teaching and information, check out our website at melbond.tv or write us at Agape Church, P.O. Box 306, Wentzville, Missouri, 63385, or call our office at 636-327-5632. Keep up to date by friending us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Last Day Signs and Wonders is made possible by the generous gifts of our partners. Please consider becoming a partner and help Mel Bond take this message of Last Day Signs and Wonders around the world.